So uh, with the device drawing, we are now ready to do some simulation. We create this device simulation and uh, this is an empty window for device simulation and we first need to load the structure which is the TIF file we just uh, uh, created it takes a bit of time to load the structure okay now it is loaded we see this silicon region anode and cathode anode and cathode okay and uh, of course we can look at the mesh uh, we can uh, take a look at the uh, doping concentrations in A okay so we see uh, this of course is a linear scale plot um, if we want we can plot in log scale okay so we see a Gaussian shape uh, accept the doping anyway um, uh, we can also look at the interfaces uh, add node to silicon cathode to silicon and uh, also we can highlight the regions but more importantly more importantly um, we see there are two electrodes anode and cathode they are correctly recognized by the system and um, we can do uh, steady state transient and uh, circuit simulation we will first do this steady state uh, DC sweep so the cathode is kept, kept at 0 volt and the anode will be swept from 0 to 4 bias 1 volt uh, with the step of 0 0.1 volt okay and guess what we are ready to run it um, but of course we we want to s first save it we call it diode dot simulation and uh, run um, the, the the catch is that uh, we need a working directory for this run we call it run one Okay, so the simulation job is, uh, is uh, submitted. We can sit here and wait. Okay, the uh, progress is shown here. Okay, it's a first step, and uh, this step is running this much. Okay, it's pretty fast. And um, the result is shown here. Uh, we see um, it's labeled from 0 to zero to one volt okay um, we've let's see let's say we want to look at the spreadsheet okay this is the spreadsheet and uh, every column okay we have anode voltage anode current cathode voltage and cathode current why don't we just plot the um, IV curves okay uh, anode current versus voltage plot uh, x variable is voltage of course okay so we see this nicely dial turning on at about uh, 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 volt and of course uh, we want to also see the uh, log scale sorry this is log scale okay we want the y-axis to be in log scale and of course we don't want it to start from 0 when e minus 12 maybe 15 okay um, so ignoring this zero point it, it, uh, it went up uh, out of bound um, we see this nice diode current uh, growing exponentially uh, as the voltage increases okay so um, this is the spreadsheet of the IV curve and now we can also look at the do some visualization okay uh, as previously we can uh, look at this pseudo color pseudo color 
plot of this uh, potential. Okay, so this pit, uh, this patch here is the anode. Um, let's say, let's see. Um, we don't want to see the anode, and we don't want to see the cathode. We just look at the silicon substrate. Okay, and. Um, just now we see there are 10 solutions and we want to step through it and see how the potential changes in the device uh, with the various uh, bias voltage okay first step second third okay as we increase the voltage the the potential drop the potential barrier in the diode decreases okay in this manner of course, we can uh, plot other things. Um, let's say let's say uh, electron density. No hole density. Okay. Hole density. So initially, holes are only in the diffusion region. As we increase the uh, as we increase the potential bias, the holes increase in the substrate. Okay, exponentially. Notice we are using log plot, log scale here. Um, so this is the visualization.